Immersive 360 video use in SharePoint spaces. HLS, show me how. Hi, my name is Michael Giannotti and I'm a Microsoft Teams technology specialist for the Microsoft Corporation working in our healthcare and life sciences group. After this video, if you want to find me as well as all of my colleagues and all the work we're publishing, you can find us at aka.ms slash HLS blog. That's aka.ms slash HLS blog. So immersive 360 video in SharePoint Spaces. When SharePoint Spaces was first announced a couple of years ago, I had been talking with a couple of my customers, both in the pharmaceutical side, as well as in the healthcare and life sciences area. And there was a lot of interest around the use of immersive 360 video. And if you're not familiar with it, 360 video is created where you take a 360 camera for example here you go this is my uh it's old it's a original rico theta from i think 2013 or 14. Um, it's been around quite a while uh, but you take a device like this and what you do with that then is you take video just like you would any other video except in this case the video is immersive and experiential what i mean by that it captures a full 360 degree sphere of everything that's happening. So as a user is moving through the video, they can alter their points of view at any given time. They can control that. They can see what they want to see move around as well as fast forward and back up. But it provides a more experiential type of experience, right? More interactive experience, I guess. And you can edit those videos. You can add little place marks and pointers, etc. Things that you might expect within 360 video um, or in any video, right? That you want to highlight objects. But it provides this real immersive experience. And where I was getting a lot of interest was one around training, where in hospitals, for example, you have new hires and you want to get them up to date onto, you know, what's available in various ERs and the um, operating theaters etc and all those things you can provide that immersive experience um, with a low-cost device the new ones you know are running in the hundreds of dollars mine's old but the new ones are 4k 5k and above right and so they have these what we call prosumer models that are available at low cost they do audio and video and would allow you to go in and to provide virtual tours of areas where you can move in and through rooms so when a person gets there and actually goes to use stuff they already have a sense of familiarity i also was hearing uh you know interest around that where uh, some of our hospitals had sister hospitals and different things happening where they were working in the field in third world countries and doing various exercises and they wanted to familiarize physicians etc as to the conditions around that or maybe capture the conditions while those people are there to be able to share that back in a more rich immersive uh, fashion uh, we've seen pharma again you know multinational and virtual tours and all that kind of good stuff it's just a great way to do things the issue has been how do you share that in the enterprise in a way that's accessible so certainly you know one of the beautiful things about this is if you have and i don't have one here i wish i i did but if you had a microsoft mixed reality device right that does virtual reality or you know augmented reality you would be able to put that on and actually be able to if it was presented properly interact and be immersed like you're in it and you're there and experiencing and looking around with the person showing you but even then SharePoint spaces provides that capacity that capability but it also allows you simply through the browser view to be able to go in and immerse yourself in point of view using you know I'm on my PC nothing but a mouse and point and click and drag and move things around so even if you don't have that device to still be able to get that experience so what I've done I want to show you how this looks in uh, SharePoint spaces we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna demonstrate that I've uploaded some old I found some old footage um, of when I was an architect at the MTC many years ago 
that I've taken walking through a building and getting explanation of that facility. And then also some ones where I was on a trip in Haiti. So you'll be able to see how that immersive experience is through the browser. I won't be able to show you through a device. I don't have a device. So we'll, we'll make do with what we have, but you'll get the idea. It provides that rich piece. So let's go ahead without any further ado and let's get to the demonstration. So here we are, we're in our demonstration tenant that we have looked at earlier and I'll provide some links back to the previous one about a global research summit, doing a virtual summit using SharePoint spaces as well as you know a tour using 360 imagery. But here in this one, I had a welcome video, but if, as you can see, when we click that and play it, it's going to be a two dimensional, right? It's just me. So there you go. I've got the audio down, so we're not blasted by it. But you can see I'm talking. There's video. That's nice. And it's going to provide this experience for users to see things. But it's not immersive. It's just video. But what happens if we add a hall? In this case, I didn't add a navigational element. I just put it here. I called it field research videos. And when we bring this particular view up, here's that return to main hall. You'll see I have two 360 videos that we have added. So these are a little different. Instead of playing in just that little window like we saw, we're going to get this immersive experience. And the first video we have is this one of the Philadelphia MTC. So this is walking through an actual facility. And if I select that, there we go. And so you can see here I'm scrolling and moving around, dragging things, right? There's myself and Todd first. We're walking through a facility and it's fully immersive. Look, I can look up, I can look down, I can change my point of view at any given time. This is all controlled by myself, the user. And there is the option to watch with a headset. So if I did have a mixed reality capability, I would be able to do so. Now, granted, the video quality here is not the greatest. That is a limitation of my camera. I have a very old one. Um, it's not even high def, so it's you know it's been around since uh, I think 2014 is when I got it. So it's been around quite a while, but still you get the idea. And if you had you know obviously a higher quality, and here we're moving into another room, and I can see he's badging us in. We're going into this envisioning center, and we're moving in. It is quite immersive. And again, you could have indicators to different objects. People could pause, etc. There's some. <laughs> Uh, and so I can go around and see all that. Now, I'm going to click, and there's my control. So again, you know, I can go back and forth, etc. But I'm going to go ahead and exit. We're going to come on back. And the same thing can be done outdoors, right? So in this case, I had a field, uh, Haiti Field Research, I called it. And if we click that, now you'll see this is me riding in a vehicle as we're going down a road. We're in uh, Jeremy, Haiti, no electricity, plumbing, running water. Um, but we're getting this experience, right, of full immersion. And you could see if we were going to be sending people down, they'd be able to take a look and we could have, you know, movement through the various areas and what's there. And people could get a sense of that before they even went. Also, if we're doing reporting back on the conditions and other things, we're going to get that full immersion. People will be able to experience that. And again, they can play it on a headset, which I don't have. Uh, or simply through the browser here, this can all be moved through. And then the beauty of it all is with all of this, if I wanted to, I could take this entire experience, right? And I'm just going to come on back to, we'll go back here to the Research Summit. I'm going to grab that, copy all of this. Whoops, I didn't want OneNote. That's not it. Let's come on back again. I wanted Microsoft Teams. And if we come back into Teams itself, we could create an application. And I don't want to go to that. We're going to go to a team, to a general, right? I think I might. Did I put one here? Uh, I did not. So let's go in here. Let's go ahead and add a tab. So this was SharePoint. So I could simply go in here and say SharePoint. I could put a link to this particular SharePoint site, click Save. 
It's going to post to the channel. Now I've embedded this entire experience here within our hall, right? So that people can come in here, they can play. Oh, and I should have actually, let's go ahead, let's edit. Um, oh boy, I wanted to go here. Let's grab this link, copy link. I want to go straight into there. I didn't make linkage off of there. So we'll just go real quickly over to here. And we're going to go to the settings of this particular one. We're going to change that Boom. to here. Save. There we go. So it's going to move into that 360. And we can bring that 360. You can see how easy this was, right? That whole 360 experience right within now, within Teams. So I can be viewing. Again, I still have my headset link. If we have that, we can go full immersive. But here I'm getting the full 360 immersive experience in Teams. This stuff is rocking. It is cool. And it's a great way to provide, again, that differentiator, that rich, immersive experience. You want to take it a step further, create an app off of this and put it here on the side. And bam, there you go. You can bring everybody into this particular experience. So that's, there we go. And it's moving, moving it back to this other space. So you get all that in spaces navigation. So that's it. I mean, it's, it's not only cool, it can be very useful for people who need to get a sense and to feel like they've been there, but where T&E travel budget, um, you know, conflicts of schedule, et cetera, may, you know, conflict. We want to get people so they, they, they can really get a sense as to what's around, whether it's in preview of going to, you know, ease the transition there or to let people do virtual tours, inspections, and all those kind of things that they may need to do. 360 video provides that immersive experience. SharePoint Spaces provides the platform for a corporate secure intranet delivery of that and the ability to interact with it for employees and guests, folks that you're working with. So take a look, get it rocking, Try it out for yourself. Again, I'll provide links to my previous videos, but the one that I did on creating a virtual conference, and I might've done it in the other one as well, but both, you know, I show how to actually enable the space in your environment. So that, this is Mike Giannotti bidding you have a great day. Get with spaces, get 360 and immerse yourself. Take care and as always, ciao.